What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So we've got a bit of talking and clearing up to do today. In my previous video on how to prepare for tier 4, I made a statement that got a lot of you talking and not all in a good way. In that video, I said that I don't want to see anyone convert their tier 3 level 10 damage gems to tier 4 level 8 gems. Well, after reading your comments and thinking it over, I realized I need to clear the air on this one. So, here's the video. To defend myself first, what I said wasn't necessarily wrong, but it wasn't the full picture either. The reason I advised against converting is that when you convert a level 10 damage gem to tier 4, you lose damage percentage, but you do gain some global attack power. At first glance, this might make you think twice about converting those precious level 10 damage gems. I know I did, and most importantly, you cannot revert them back to tier 3. It's a one-way ticket. So, I advise everyone to take what I say and what other streamers say and YouTubers say with a grain of salt. Do your own research before you convert your gems. Now let's talk about the full picture here. So if you're rocking a level 10 damage gem that's giving you around 25 to 27% of your total damage, you might want to hold off on converting. I've seen comments saying that Saint Tone mentioned 30% or is it Saint 1? And while I don't really know how that number was derived, the 25 to 27% figure came from a commenter of mine named Sivo or whatever, however you pronounce their name, who helped create the tier 4 document that I was referencing. So honestly, I'm not sure who is correct here, but this Sivo or Kaivo, whatever, this person did show me the math, but I would still advise everyone to take everyone's numbers with a grain of salt. If anything, the whole argument feels a bit trivial since the damage difference from optimizing your gem setup is less than, you know, the boost you get from tier 4 transfer, arc passive, hyper awakening, and T skills, all that good jazz. But if you really want to optimize, as I said, don't convert if your skill does more than 25% of your damage, otherwise convert if it doesn't. Again, do you. But even then, this really depends on you as a player. No two players are exactly alike. I've seen a lot of people relying on Lost Ark Nexus documents to find their damage share, because they do provide it. But that can be inaccurate. The numbers you see there may not represent what you experience in an actual raid. It's truly a case-by-case -case thing, and I strongly suggest you check your own damage share over multiple raids to get an accurate representation of your skills and of how you play. Yes, you kind of need the Bible for this. For example, when I was deciding which gems to get to level 10 second after my dark resurrection for my emperor arcanist i had two options evoke or unlimited shuffle lost art nexus claims evoke does the second highest damage share for emperor arcanist so that seemed like the obvious choice however and this was before the nerf evoke was an extremely difficult skill to land consistently because of its unreliability, when I checked my damage share for an actual raid, I noticed that Unlimited Shuffle was outperforming Evoke in terms of damage. So, I went with Unlimited Shuffle level 10 damage gem first. Now with the nerfs, my Evokes hit a lot more, but that's besides the point. This is a clear example of how different it can be based on how you play and just how your class is, and how the bosses are. Find out how you play, and which skills deal the most damage for you. Get your accurate numbers, and then use Saint One's 30%, or Sivo's 25 to 27%, whatever it is, 
make sure you do your own research, look at your own damage first, and then make your decision. Because trust me, you may be surprised at your damage share. Anyway, quick video. I want to apologize for saying that no one should convert. It was an oversimplification, and it wasn't fair to everyone's unique playstyle. Make sure to check your damage share before making any decisions about converting or not converting. I'm not always going to be 100% correct with my advice. And that's because my content is all about sharing my own thoughts and opinions with you all. I do my best to give good advice, but it's impossible to research every single detail before making these daily videos for you all. Yes, it's daily. I have a life. I have work to do and other stuff. I cannot be on top of my game for everything. So please cut me some slack. Anyway, if I ever say something factually incorrect, I encourage you all to correct me. I'm here to learn and grow along with all of you. All right. Thank you all for sticking with me and for always keeping the conversation going. I appreciate everyone who reached out with your comments and feedback. This channel wouldn't be what it is without you all. If you found this clarification helpful, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here or you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more Lost Ark content. For my pineapple gang, what's up? This video is more of a, you know, sadder video. A video I didn't really want to post, but I thought I needed to clear the air because I'm still getting comments to this day on that video, specifically about how I am wrong. Yes, I was wrong. I apologize. Uh, make sure you guys keep me accountable, and I will always be willing to learn and pin your comments if you show the right information. But for my pineapple gang, let's just say the word good. I want to hear some positive stuff. So and anything positive. Let's let's hear some positive from our pineapple gang here. Because we need some of that. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.